Hi, I'm Ben Parmenter, Project Manager for Jackson Civil Engineering, and we're going to talk about UAV surveys. We're working for the Environment Agency on the Asset Recovery Programme, which is a number of schemes repairing flood damaged assets throughout East Anglia. At Clements Green, we're using a new type of survey to us, which is a UAV survey. We've had a bank slip, and the UAV is carrying out a survey from which we can quickly gather volumes and uh, topographical information. When we look at the data that we get together after the survey has been carried out, on a normal topographical survey we're given spot levels and coordinates whereas on a UAV survey here we work on a three centimetre pixel that gives us a massive information all over an asset, an embankment, say, that um, could well have slipped. We've got every bit of the ground covered. Using the latest unmanned aerial systems, we can take several hundred photographs that are then stitched together into one large geo-reference photo. And each photo contains billions of 3D data points. And using this data, we can then create two or three-dimensional models. We can then drape the photograph over our very accurate DTM, providing a real-life landscape modelled and displayed on your desktop. This is a key benefit to all of our tasks and we have the ability to bring our surveys including HD video onto a desktop in the form of condition surveys and engineered data. We can achieve level accuracies plus or minus 50 millimetres in conjunction with 3D data points every three centimetres. This makes a very powerful survey tool. Right, this is how the process generally goes. The UAV arrives on site with the operator in a little box. Uh, taken out of the box, laptop set out, the flight course is checked. When that's all okay, the UAV is launched. The UAV then goes up to the height it's going to work at, orientates itself, and then carries out the survey on a predetermined route or pattern, and then lands itself at your feet. The Information is then downloaded and processed and can be given to the client within 24 hours in a PDF format or whatever format they would require. For us one of the benefits is you can put a very good baseline in as to how a asset, say a structure, an earth embankment was um, over its entire body, if you like, at one moment in time and then you can go back in a few months and remeasure it. Um, say if you're doing a big cut and fill project you can get instantaneous nearly results as to volumes of cut and fill uh, very accurately with it. So the client gets a massive amount of baseline data they can dig in dig into at a later date and that's also combined with uh, high definition sort of photography of the area at the same time which is what I conventional topographical survey will not give you. At Clements Green the survey established what you would have in a normal topographical survey however you do not have any of the health and safety implications or the spot level inaccuracies that you might have um, in a traditional manner. The future for UAV surveys in civil engineering I feel is very bright. The benefits with people not slipping and tripping and falling up and down embankments, down holes and other hazards is great. The quality of information we can get really rather quickly by flying an area is unsurpassed and it's a great green way forwards.